Hi, these are the stars of this video right here. Well, I don't know if you call them stars or not. But that's, they're going to be in the video. I'm going to show you how the Gig Master cleans and cooks crabs. And I do it a little different way than most people do. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to do it. Now, a lot of people will just take the crabs, throw them right in the steamer and be done with it and eat them, right? Not the Gig Master. What we're going to do, we're going to take these crabs and we're going to take the shell off the back and take a um, hose and wash all the dead man and all the stuff out of the middle and so all you have is shell and meat kind of like you eat like a um, a king crab leg or, or snow crab leg kind of like that scenario but not as much meat unfortunately but anyway they're gonna work out good i think and we're gonna look, these guys these guys are not happy i don't think these guys are these guys are not gonna be happy at all when i finish with them but anyway what we're gonna do is once i pop the back off of them and we'll use some gloves to handle the handle the crabs what I do I use my basket again you know my old basket right there I kind of got the floats off of it but this works great for that because I can line the crabs up in here and then just wash them off all at one time and put them right in the pot it makes it a lot more efficient doing it that way and it takes me less time but anyway that's what we're getting ready to do right now so we'll get everything lined up here I got my hose right here ready to go got the crab ready everything set up I got the steam going we're ready to go all right let's do it all right, I'm going to show you how we take the shell off the back and clean them out. Got to have these right here because they will pinch you. All right, let's give one a try. All right. They're, they're pretty lively, I can tell you that. They are lively. Whoa. Okay, we got to get one here. This guy is not happy. What I normally do is hold it down here, put my foot up here, and then just pull it back off like that. Usually it comes off one piece, but sometimes it doesn't. And then I set them in here. So I'm going to do a couple here, let me show you how it's done, and then I'll show you how we wash them right here. See how it come off nice and clean right there? Uh, okay, let's see if we can't find one loose here. Oh, look at him, he's a nice one there, isn't he? All right, let's get this one off first. Like that. And this guy here, boy, he's going to be full of meat. Oh, you want that claw to get you, that's for sure. Just like that. Okay, what we're going to do is we'll line them up here. What I'll do is I'll do like 20, 30 at a time here. But I'm going to show you real quick what I do here. Alright, I'm going to get the hose out. Okay, here we go. What I want to do is take the hose and just wash out that center part right there. Like that. But then what I do, I'll come back along this edge right here. That's where the dead man is right there. Now, usually this hose will take off the dead man. See that dead man? This right here, these, little, these are his lungs, and that's what they call the dead man. You don't want to eat that. So usually the, the hose will take a lot of it off. It might not take 100%, but it takes a lot of it off. So when you eat them, you don't have to worry about that. But it'll take most everything else out of them. Cut that dead man off of that guy right there. Look at that. Took it right off. Look at that. Okay, let's go hit one more time here in the middle. But anyway, this is what you end up with like this. Pretty much nothing but meat and shell. You might have like one little piece of dead man here that you just gotta watch out because when you you don't eat that you eat the inside here where the meat's at that's the back fin right in here and these little each leg's got meat on it and the claws so anyway all right i'm gonna get started and go ahead and uh, finish them all of them up i think we got 50 or 60 crabs of leaf probably i don't know how many but let me get moving because we got the steam going we got to get them all in as fast as we can all right let's do it We ended up with 73 crabs and we only lost one. That's pretty good. Uh, sometimes in the summertime you use a, lose a lot because of the heat and everything, but right now it's not quite as hot outside. And I kept ice in the box to keep the, keep it re like refrigerated, to keep them live longer. That's why I keep ice in the box uh, while when I got the crabs. So that does help them live a little longer. All right, so let's go ahead and put the final coat of Old Bay on it and get these things, final ones going. Here we go. All right, I'm going to show you the pot I use to steam my crabs in. Of course, I use a couple different pots, but I got so many this time, I'm going to use this pot right here. This has a uh, little thing at the bottom to keep the steam from coming up. You don't want your crabs to go into the water part. You want a separation so the steam comes up and steams them, but don't boil them. So, and you also, when you put the liquid in here, you, you know, usually you only put like an inch of liquid. But one thing you don't want to do is let it run out. If it runs out 
it smokes, burns, and completely ruins a whole batch of crabs. I've done it, trust me. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to do that. Now, what I use is a uh, half white vinegar and half water. Some people like to add two beers to the container and one beer to the stomach. They say that works a lot better, but I don't know about that. But y'all, y'all can try that if you want to let me know how it comes out. But anyway, we're going to get started here in just a little bit on steaming them. But that's how I'm going to get set up right now to get them ready. All right, here we go. All right, they're all in the pot. And it's a full pot. Look at that. It is full. And that's without the shells on it. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to clean some of the old shells that we just pulled off. And I'm going to make some devil, Gig Master Devil Crabs. So I'm going to go clean some shells off so I can actually pack the devil crab meat inside of a shell to serve it. All right. Let's go do it right now. All right, we're gonna come in here. And we're gonna wash these shells out, clean them up really good, and we're gonna actually save these shells. And we're gonna steam them, cook them, and save them to put our devil crab meat in. But we gotta do a lot of cleaning on them first. They're gonna look, they're gonna be nice. That's gonna be good eating the devil crab meat right out of a real crab shell. Okay, let's get going. Here we go. I gotta wash all that off and clean them up. Might have to scrub them a little bit. I'll make sure they're good and clean. We're in here picking the crabs now. Got a whole pound already. We'll make some good devil crabs out of that. But anyway, we're gonna pick a few more crabs here right now. And I will show you real quick how I pick them. I'm gonna grab one right here. First thing I do is take the claws off. Is sometimes when you pull the claws, you get a little bit of meat off of it, so we'll throw that in there. The next thing I do is break it in half, like that. You know, you got your male and female thing on there. I just pop that off as it comes up. Then I grab the whole end of it like that and push down on it. And what it does, it, it breaks the shell right at the base. Well, you can use it can pull it off like that. Look at that. See, that's empty and all that meat is right there. Sometimes you gotta play with it just a little bit. Look at that. That's all meat right there. So you can grab all the, that's the meat that's along the, uh, the filler pieces and the back fin. The back fin is all right in here. Look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, nice crab meat, look at that. And uh, then we'll just keep picking it like that and finish it up. We should have two or three pounds of meat here. So we'll uh, minus what might go uh, disappear, minus that. But other than that, we'll go uh, pick a few pounds and we're gonna get going on the uh, cooking up some stuff. All right. 